Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some MTGO replay time. Um, the Slivers played this one over the weekend just at my own time, uh, but I wanted to showcase it a little bit because it was a interesting deck and uh, an interesting game, so we'll skip through here a little bit. Well, let's do this. Oh, there we go. So we start with two double tap lands on the, on the, the hand here, which isn't great. Uh, but we're going against a guy's deck. He's got lots of removal. It's just card draw and removal, and he follows up with some creatures at the end. Um, so it's an interesting matchup. Didn't know what to expect here. We lead with our plated, of course. And he immediately takes it out. Uh, I think I'm skipping a little bit too fast. Sorry about that, but he disfigured. Minus two, minus two. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll go back to my turn here. And uh, we get another land. So we can have some protection, which is good. We're going to get our predatory out here. Pass it back to them. And I believe he goes for removal again. He does. He wants me to sacrifice creature. Vines isn't going to help me from that, so away goes our muscle, sl our predatory sliver. So we have the opportunity to get out of range of another edict effect, but we uh, go to lead the stampede. My thought is, okay, we can take the turn to do this since he's basically playing removal, and just fill our hand up. That way we can drop a bunch of stuff when we need to. Unfortunately. We took a big L and drew five lands, uh, which is insane. So, complete bust. We're just going to send them back, feeling a little bit silly. But it is what it is. So, does he go for a creature or card draw here? Ah, yes, he goes for Gary, uh, which isn't going to deal us too much damage. He plays it a little bit early. That's usually the finisher move in these black decks. Uh, but he chooses to play it now. So he'll hit us for two. Not a big deal. Now we'll pull out our journey. We'll get him off the battlefield. He's a big blocker. We want to be able to swing in for damage when we need to. And we'll just put our metallic just as bait, I guess, uh, since he's playing so much removal. That was my uh, line of thought. It's like there's no sense in uh, throwing out a good flanking sliver when a metallic can go to waste. And let's see what he does here. So he ends up playing the creature. This is one of his creatures that he does to try to help finish the game here. He draws a card. He loses one life. But he gets a nice 2-2 on the board. Not super worried about it, though. Looks scary, but it's not extremely scary. Uh, then he unearths uh, to get back a card from his graveyard. But, uh, let's see. Oh, he cycled it. Sorry, my bad. He cycled the unearth. We'll go ahead, we'll put out the flanking, we'll put out a lord, now Phyrexian Rager is in danger if he wants to block. He takes it, smart move. So, Edict, and then he does Victim of Night, and he puts out a rat. So, it's going a little faster, so I'll just go back to what that was at. Uh, he made us Edict, we sacrificed our Sliver, then he Child the Knight, which is Destroyer, Target, Non-Vampire, Non-Werewolf, Non-Zombie Creature, so we took out our Predatory. Uh, again, just tons, tons of removal. At this point, we're just going to play our Spinneret, nothing else we can really do, uh, but we can pass the turn and try to hope to reestablish our board here a little bit. What did he do again? Ah, uh, yeah, so Chittering Rats was annoying. Uh, basically made us put a card from our hand and put it on top of our library. We chose to put Vines on top. It not like it really matters. It's just making us not draw a card for a turn, pretty much. So we draw a Lord, which is excellent. Feel a little bit more comfortable having protection for our Lord now. And we can swing in with some nice bodies. I believe they block here, let me say. Yeah, he goes for a block. Flanking's gonna take care of that problem. Sorry, I'm like losing my voice a little bit. I've been a little bit 
<clears throat> affected by the weather and my allergies have made me uh, all phlegmy and stuff. So it's uh, all in my throat, making me a little bit raspy. Let's see what they go for here. All right, so another rager. Draw them a card. And they go for the Kumbaja, which is, which is deal one damage to any target and one da and one damage to any target of an opponent's choice, which is interesting. So you got to tap it to do that. That doesn't scare me at all. I don't know where the combo is with that. Uh, I don't think it ever comes into play. But predatory, excellent. Obviously, we've got lots of things we can do here. He's forced to block a little bit. Um, but he chooses to take the damage, go to three. And he then concedes, and we'll move to game two. Alright, so we're on to game two. And this hand, I choose to keep because we can play a couple bait fodder for his removal. And that's basically what I'm doing in this match up right now that my whole thought process was I'll keep this hand I'll play my crappy creatures my one drops and I'll lead the stampede on turn three fill up my hand and just establish my board full of lands until I can get out of range of all his negative two negative twos and start swinging in for the win so he did two disfigures on both our one drops which was expected I didn't expect any of them to live we get another lead the stampede which should help us out a lot so i'm fine with that draw we end up hitting sidewinder and muscle bring those into our hand pass it back to them another sign in blood that's the second one they're doing their card draw so now we've got four uh planes we can drop two uh, lords we'll uh end up doing our main plan which was lead the stampede and now we've got two sinew slivers coming in hot and i am absolutely fine with this we're gonna our plan is going exactly how we want we'll put out another bait for their removal so we can drop a ton of lords the turn after so sacrifice a creature there we go removal 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 and at this point he can play his chittering rats we'll just put the plane on top not worried about it All right, time to start dropping lords. Hope for the best. If one of them dies here, I'm fine with it. We've got three more in our hand, and we're going to get completely out of range after that. So, of course, removal. One has to be sacrificed. We'll get rid of our muscle. And I, at this point, feel like he's out of removal since he tapped out to play his Varexian Rager. So, it's time to bring the hurt. We draw a sixth land we can now empty our hand and utterly get a nasty board a bunch of five five slivers it's beautiful it's a beautiful board let's let's be honest one turn get everybody to five five he's not we're out of range of that negative two two uh edith effects aren't going to be a huge deal we can still have a ton of big creatures on the board and at this point he's used up so much removal there's just He's in a tough spot. He's in a really tough spot. So he unearths, he cycles, he's looking for answers. He plays Witches for another blocker. At this point, the game's over. I already know it is. And look what we draw here. Another Lord. Six, six creatures. He concedes the match. Of course, who wouldn't? We've got lethal. Doesn't matter. And uh, the game wraps up. So... I just thought it was fun. I thought it was a fun matchup. I thought it was an interesting deck that the guy had, just a bunch of removal, but it didn't really work out for him. We just had to play patient and bait out all his removal and then just drop our lords in one sweep and it worked out perfectly how I wanted it to. Wish I had caught this one live, but I didn't unfortunately, but I thought the recap would be nice since it was such a unique matchup and uh, just a great board, just a great sliver board right here. Five, six, six creatures on the board. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little recap uh, of a fun little match I had. 
and we'll be back to doing the live gameplay in the next one probably here but if you enjoyed and you want to see more make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more sliver content and we will see you guys in the next video